Hi, here's a sample RF front end for a uh, software-defined radio, and I'll point out the, the pieces to it. Um, this is a Hack RF, RF front end. This is a, uh, next to it is a GPS uh, disciplined oscillator that provides 10 megahertz signal to the uh, really accurate timing signal to the uh, Hack RF front end. Uh, this is, is an optional device. It's a um, bias T that provides power back up to the, uh, the amplifier that's at the end of the GPS antenna. You can also set a flag in the Hack RF that sends three to five volts up to the antenna. That's another option. And uh, this happens to also be an L1 filter, so it's a bandpass filter that allows L1 signal in. Uh, over here are other three other oscillators, temperature controlled oscillators that, that uh, uh, work as well, and then various uh, RF filters. Um, it's important to note that for doing uh, GPS or GNSS uh, SDR work, the oscillator that's in the Hack RF is typically not good enough. It's uh, on the order of a 10 to 20 uh, parts per million oscillator, which just doesn't quite cut it. So you have to augment that with either a temperature controlled oscillator or a or GPS uh, disciplined oscillator. Here's an example setup for uh, GNSS SDR for running it. Um, on the right side, I have the configure file over here. And that's the file that you use to, to set up the RF front end and to pull in the data and do the uh, SDR software, uh, configures everything. Um, next to it over here is the, uh, the monitor program. And you can go, you go ahead and start that before you start streaming in data. And then on the bottom here is the window that I'll uh, use to call up the, uh, to start the SDR itself. I'm going to go ahead and, and start GNSS SDR and show you what the uh, screen looks like when you first start it. So I've got a, a shell back, uh, bash file to, to get it going. And so I'm gonna hit that and start and you can see it's setting up the, the RF front end and it's starting to already collect, um, collect data. It's starting to do acquisition now. And in a minute, we'll start to see we'll start to see some um, tracking as well up here. So it's still uh, it'll go and do this for 20, 30 seconds while it's uh, starting to uh, get through the acquisition and begin the tracking phase. Okay, now it started. You notice that a couple of uh, satellites have popped up here and it's starting to track and, uh, and starting to calculate pseudo ranges. All right, it's just acquired now. And you can see the green solution showing. And then up on the plot, you can, I've got uh, altitude showing here and it's tracking now on what, five or six satellites. You can do some interesting things with the monitor. For example, I'm gonna go up and uh, click on this little square right here and notice uh, a little window pops up that shows my Doppler calculation. I can also uh, take one of the channels here and look at the IQ data and see how that uh, demodulation is going. So there it popped that window up as well. So that's a quick, uh, quick look at uh, GNSS uh, tracking and GNSS-SDR software.